what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another man video today. So guys, this is gonna be an interesting type of video. Of course, you guys see the thumbnail, you guys see the title, Madden Mobile OG, man. Wouldn't that be something? Now, of course, guys, before we jump into this video, I do want to preference. There's nothing been official from EA or, of course, the Madden Mobile team about anything Madden Mobile OG. This is just me spitballing, of course, since the release of Fortnite OG um, and how big of a boom that game seen again by releasing an OG version of their game um, and all that stuff that maybe we could see that for Madden Mobile. But, of course, like I said, nothing has been official. I do want to preference that. But, hey, man, maybe this video video gets traction we get like a petition.org or something like that um and it gets the ball rolling and maybe we could see a madden mobile og in the future we never know you never know but of course as of right now you guys can play madden mobile 24 in your app store or google play store so go ahead and check those out your boy does still we're still on that madden mobile grind if you guys are ogs playing back in madden mobile 16 15 17 and you guys were sub to the channel you just saw this thumbnail and you guys are just seeing my channel again Welcome back, I guess, guys. Your boy's still grinding that Madden Mobile. I still enjoy Madden Mobile myself um, and all that goodness. But, of course, guys, we're talking about Madden Mobile OG today. Now, of course, this is just me spitballing, so I might be going on tangents here and there. So I apologize for that. Um, but, of course, guys, I do want to go ahead and give a huge shout-out to, of course, the comment squad. Um, so, of course, if you want to have your comment pop up in one of these videos, just drop a comment in the comment section below. Could be anything like you miss madden mobile or madden mobile og let's get it or something like that i don't know just drop a comment below um and all that goodness but yeah man let's jump into this so yeah fortnite did release fortnite og on november 3rd and they have seen an absolute boom in the game now of course i know you guys see it in youtube comments on any kind of madden mobile post that people that madden does post that's saying like bring back madden mobile 16 15 17 18 i've even seen people say overdrive um and all that stuff so yeah there's always going to be of course that nostalgia from those older games um from those older years and of course i'm not saying that madden mobile 24 has not improved on things that we have in the previous seasons and obviously madden mobile the og days were extremely better i feel like there's a lot of things that they have fixed um and improved on in madden mobile 24 um but of course there's still some things that we do miss and see of course one of them being the auction house i know a lot of people do want to see that back in the game but that's up in the air and all that goodness. But of course, guys, like I've been saying, there's a lot of nostalgia with those older games and everything like that. And honestly, that kind of rolls with me playing Mad um, Fortnite OG this weekend because I did go out and partake in playing Fortnite. I play a lot of Fortnite, actually. So um, I have over 1,200 hours clocked in just playing with my boys and everything like that. But yeah, man, like one thing that was really awesome about playing Fortnite OG again is that like we were like where are we landing boys we're gonna land tilted we're gonna land at retail we're gonna land noms or you're gonna go doghouse or something like that like those are things that like just like a flush of 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 nostalgia just hits you and you're like wow i cannot believe i'm saying this like risky reels like all that stuff is crazy and that's back in the game um in fortnite og and like i don't know if we would get like another app like obviously fortnite it didn't get a new app for fortnite og it just basically released a new season and said hey we're a fortnite og now now i don't know how that would work in the grand scheme of things for madden mobile because we do have a current madden mobile 24 like i said um but i don't know that's not for me to figure out i'm not uh, i'm not ea in the team that would be something that they would develop right um but of course guys just looking at stuff like this of course fortnite just seeing that i guess change right here that change of course of bringing back the old game they've got a massive just spike of new players coming back to the game which is would be incredible to have back in Madden Mobile. Now, I don't know the exact numbers of how many people are playing daily versus now versus back in the day. Um but of course, this is this this is numbers and numbers do speak especially fortnite such a big game this could this is big for the whole gaming scene right like we don't know or i'm not just talking about madden mobile could be other games releasing um retro styles and everything now of course i also want to preference uh, sorry jumping in right here from editing um i do want to preference that it's not like the first time i want to say 
Fortnite could have an influence in in Madden Mobile, of course, like I'm saying with all this OG talk. Of course, Fortnite is a massive game, and they made something with, of course, the Battle Pass. And I feel like with them making the Battle Pass, not just Madden Mobile, a lot of games itself has introduced some type of Battle Pass, and we see it ourselves by having the Field Pass in the game. So it could not be the first time that Fortnite has an influence on, of course, Madden Mobile or, of course, the gaming sphere in general. Madden Mobile is in his 10th year anniversary, guys, and they've been doing really, really cool things of uh, bringing back those 10th anniversary cards since we had Sherman from Domination, uh, Gronk from Fra um, the Frankenstein, Gronk from Most Feared, and we just saw Most Feared, or right now, currently, we have Most Feared JJ Watt in the field pass. And I feel like a lot of people are loving those cards, not one, because it's, it's free to get if you just play the game, but it's also because that is that nostalgia, the, the anniversary 10 years so seeing those cards it it just brings happiness and joy seeing those cards back in the game and everything like that and having like fortnite having this um big boom we could possibly get a big boom back in madden mobile and all that stuff and i know i'm kind of cherry picking um on one of their posts right here the kickoff you guys can kind of see like if we scroll down in the comments bring back the old madden mobile please bring back madden mobile 15 18 all that kind of stuff so like i said i know i'm kind of trying to kind of cherry picking on this post because that was one of the ones that i did see that people were saying uh bring back the old games but we kind of seen that for a little bit now of course um for every single year that we release a new madden mobile people are always looking back at those old days again i'm not saying that um those were of the best they didn't have no flaws they had a lot of flaws inside those games as well with like um just just different things but of course it, it would just be more of like wow we could play these types of old functions again and all these things and just looking at some of the older stuff so you guys know like i've been saying your boy has been doing youtube this this video was nine years ago man so that's kind of crazy your boy's on his ninth year anniversary which is awesome of doing youtube so i do want to say thank you guys um for the support throughout the whole years i would not be in the position i am if it wasn't for your guys support so that is awesome but just look at some of these og stuff so we're gonna just call it like this is madden mobile 15 rich shirtman on the cover of things and i don't know maybe we could like like i said i don't know if we would get a different app or of course we would just like kind of like change some things in the new app or things i don't know but seeing some of these things um inside of madden mobile 15 it's just like wow it was simpler times sometimes and all that stuff so of course this was the most feared set and this is completing the i guess overarching master of jj watt and you guys can see how simple it was to finish off these sets right here. You just needed 10 collectibles. You needed one Haunted House Patriots, one Packers, Cowboys, 49ers, Raiders, Chiefs, and Steelers Haunted House Gold collectibles. And then we needed three elite ones. And that was, of course, the Seahawks, the Saints, and the Broncos. So... That was crazy. I had this, and I believe on like Halloween night, they had a special live event where you would get guaranteed haunted house collectibles if you just played this. And I, I obviously played and finished it. And obviously, just like remembering back to that time, um, it was just like I just used my stamina, boom, burned out my stamina, trying to hunt it, refilled my stamina. And then got the collectibles I needed when I got what I needed. And bang, I got myself 96 overall JJ Watt. That's a lot simpler than, hey, I want to build an iconic player getting three epics how to get, or five epics, how to get five epics. You have to go in and get five uh, rares. And then, of course, how to get a rare, you got to get uh, five uncommons. And then how to get the uncommons, you use your tokens that you get from live events. It's a lot and it can be very daunting for newer players right newer players jumping in the game and like oh my goodness i need ten thousand of these tokens just to get x amount of uncommons and stuff well here we go back in the day <laughs> you just play the live event you're gonna get a collectible and if you get the collectible you need bam you get yourself jj watt so that's kind of different right there that one that we kind of missed the old sets a little bit and gameplay man this is madden mobile 15 so i want to start off now saying like graphics wise 
<laughs> we've tremendously gotten a lot better. So I got to give kudos to the Madden Mobile 24 team. Um, graphics look great. We got replays and stuff. Before, all you could do is snap the ball. You didn't really have a scramble and stuff like that. But of course, here's running. Um, you kind of have a more bird's eye view of the field and all that stuff. Um, and then passing the ball, if I can just fast forward a little bit, or actually like, playing defense a little bit too. Like we could always cheese and all that goodness um, before. But like the shakes of the screen it's kind of crazy that we don't have like big hits or trucks or like that little bar that pops up that says stuff like that like right here right here like when you go out and truck somebody back in the day you used to get like a little animation bar that would say like did you have a successful truck or not a successful truck and you see marshawn lynch he'd definitely be trucking those people um so that was kind of crazy and of course i remember like the throwing animation would be kind of crazy it would be kind of crazy and I, I do miss like some of this art style um and everything like here we go here we go let's see how i think they get a pass so the cpu actually dotted me up dotted me up right here look at that look at carson palmer just hitting hitting this man um and getting the touchdown right here so yeah we did not want to wait for that celebration but of course like just the passing i don't know you guys tell me do you guys miss this type of thing now like i said i feel like our gameplay looks a lot better but again it falls in that like nostalgia of me saying like hey we haven't landed in these specific places in fortnite and it's just like wow it is a lot of fun that just excitement and just i haven't had that same fun with fortnite that i had since those days and now it's back i kind of have those wow those memories wow remember i was talking to my boys man remember we played this game all the time um and all that goodness now of course moving on from sets from like man mobile 15 to like man mobile 16 and i want to say man mobile 16 is probably the year that a lot of people remember man and mobile for and you guys can see the sets are getting a little bit more asking for but still not too crazy you just need a seahawks key a patriots key eight collectibles of regular gold keys can be any team stealers all that stuff and then you needed two ep um uh elites i should say and of course the golds 10 of those so in total we're looking at 20 22 items to complete this brian dawkins card um and another thing that one thing that i feel like we missed the most from madden mobile days back in the day was the 99 overall system i don't know you guys might agree with me some people might i think most people would agree with me and i know it's easier for them to design cards and make things a little bit more um better for the card itself that's why we have gone above 100 overall but i feel like you're not getting excited about stats as much like if i turned around this brian dawkins card um when i do i know brian dawkins is nasty he has 91 speed, 91 zone coverage, and 92 press a uh, pursuit. Sorry. So like those stats are great, and it, whatever if they release another what uh, Brian Dawkins 96. If I see a 97 overall, and he now has 93 speed or something like that, I know he's better in that stat because it does translate, right? When I jump into Madden right now, and I'm looking at tom brady with 125 speed or 160 and then lamar has 200 and something yeah definitely lamar's a lot faster but like am i getting as much excited about turning that card around and seeing those stats as i do with these 99 overall gates i don't know i feel like this was a lot more simpler again again with simplicity of sets i feel like it could be simplicity of building things but again i don't make the game and i don't code the game and i don't know how hard it is to make players and everything so i do understand all that goodness of course it is an easier system for the team to make cards um and play around with stuff but i don't know i feel like this is a simpler just a simpler thing to get around right here um and then of course moving on to like gameplay right here um you guys see the graphics i want to say from madden mobile 15 to 16 they got a little bit more cleaned up i still say we are a lot better looking in madden mobile 24 of course i know one thing a lot of people are asking for are gloves and everything on the players again and all that stuff but um but yeah man this is just some nostalgia right here we're talking about madden og why not show it like look at that you guys see my defense right here here. Manning goes ahead and tosses it up and then bam big hit the guy did not catch that the screen shook the big hit bar came up those are some things features that I do miss in the old school Madden mobile days man and like I, the, I don't know the ball flying around it was kind of crazy um the way that it kind of floated and stuff um it was just different right um moving on to of course um 
I guess, gameplay of Madden Mobile 18. You guys see we got the face cam now and all that stuff. So here is Madden Mobile 18. Um, and we started moving away from that 99 overall tier. You could upgrade players. But it wasn't going too crazy. But again... I still feel like I favor the 99 system cap because like when a 99 overall card comes out, man, you know that card is going to be legit for a long time, right? Um, ooh, what is that face I am making? <laughs> but um, but yeah, man, um, all that goodness. Here is some of the gameplay. So of course, if we're looking at gameplay from 15 to 16, and I'm kind of jumping to 18 here. We kind of skipped the year. Um, but yeah, man, here is some of the gameplay right here. Um, you guys can see, of course, I again, I do feel like our graphics are a little better, but that ball trajectory, how it kind of floated and everything, it was kind of crazy um, back in the day. Days, I feel like but I feel like we're more traditional our game now looks more like console this kind of does look a little more video gamey arcadey kind of um, looking back from the old days to new days but of course another big thing um, I feel like would love to see if they bring back like an OG Madden mobile and this is a throwback guys look at young buck noob kill right here look at me with my old glasses right here we're in um, we're at EA play right here but a pro pack guys when have you got excited about opening a pro pack man and look what we just pulled here boom i was going nuts if you guys remember this you guys are ogs um we pulled golden tickets look how crazy i am <laughs> look how crazy i am back in the day um but yeah man like those are some things that i don't feel like we don't have in the game now and i feel like yeah packs are better now because if you guys are gonna spend money you're guaranteed to get your iconic you're guaranteed to get your epics if whatever pack you're opening well before it was like hey man it's all rng you guys hope for the best um but pro packs were legit back in the day you could pull icon you would pull elites which is our iconics now and stuff like that and we pulled a golden ticket like one of the best 99 overall golden ticket tebow inside a pro pack so yeah, man, it is crazy. Um, just looking at these things. Hopefully, if you guys are uh, returning users from back in the day, this kind of brought you guys some nostalgia and all that goodness, guys. But yeah, man, it would be awesome if we would see a Madden Mobile OG or something like that. Of course, kudos to the team for bringing out all the 10th anniversary stuff. I think that is really awesome as well. And I feel like that is a lot of nostalgia already. Um, just seeing those cards. Um, but again, I'm not trying to trash on Madden Mobile 24. I do enjoy the game a lot. We do stream every Sunday, guys. So if you want to tune in on one of the streams, check out in the link in the description below. But there are some things that we ha don't have back in Madden Mobile um, in the OG days that we don't have in the new games that I feel like we are missing out and missing some things here like bronze silver gold elites man there's sometimes sometimes guys simplicity is great right simplicity is great you don't want to convolute too many things um and all that stuff like like i said like this type of sets it's not really hard to understand this it's not at all play the live event get the collectible and those are the collectibles you needed and it wasn't like a million collectibles it was 10 10 collectibles right um and all that stuff uh like i said uh it did change a little bit it started getting a little bit more where's the brian dawkins uh madden mobile brian dawkins the sets got a little bit more but it's still not asking for as much as i feel like we need to build and then of course now you've got iconics and iconic foils and everything so there's a lot of systems there's a lot of systems for like a newer user it is definitely a lot harder if i'm throwing you a game if i'm throwing you madden mobile 24 and you're brand new to madden mobile never played anything thing it'd be a little bit more harder to understand i feel like than of course this <laughs> right here um i feel like there's a lot more to do though in madden mobile 24 now we got a lot of programs you got um you got your head to head you got you got point attack and everything and like that so i do kudos the team for adding things like so sometimes when you played in the og madden mobile days there was nothing to do there was nothing to do um so at least we always have programs team of the week cards coming out and all that goodness guys but yeah man that's just my thoughts sorry if we rambled a lot in this video we're just kind of going through nostalgia and like with of course fortnite og releasing and how the, all the nostalgia that flooded in me um when playing that game i know if we released if they would release a madden mobile og all that nostalgia would flood right back just watching these videos alone the nostalgia is coming back and, and, and i want to also think like i don't think madden mobile just went ahead and like 
threw away all the data of the old game, right? I, I'm pretty sure EA still has the Madden Mobile 15, 16, 17 code games still in their archives somewhere. All they got to do is just go in their archives possibly and all that stuff. But of course, NFL, there's different licensing and all that stuff. So again, I don't know how that stuff would work. Um, but yeah, man, this is just getting the ball rolling. Like I said, maybe it does get the ball rolling. We could see Madden OG in one day. Um, but yeah, guys, of course, go ahead and smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when we post anything else Madden Mobile. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you guys some nostalgia you today um but yeah guys always stay hype and i'll catch you guys soon peace now, what's up? Now.